Hi, Scott Orl in the Cinema Magazine. The new movie is called Mile 22, and it would not exist without the talents of this beautiful actress right here. We have Lauren Cohan. You may also know her from The Walking Dead, but we're going to talk about Mile 22. It, it's really fascinating because we think we understand about these black ops and who these people are, but we always think of it as men. What did you learn about the roles of women inside these operations? I think for Black Ops, the necessity to really disappear into this world is the most overarching necessity. Um, that, to me, once I learn about the role, and once I learn about many roles, is really not a gender-exclusive responsibility. So uh, we definitely had the pleasure of showing that these are people that safeguard a country anonymously, prevent hugely dangerous and far-reaching acts of terrorism on a daily basis, which we aren't even privy to. And that was a great pleasure to do that and to show heretofore unknown types of people. Maybe. What I love too about the movie, and I think it's so reflective of the times we're living in, is that how women have to multitask mm -hmm. in the sense that they have the responsibility of their family, their children, and they want a career on their own. And we see the complexity with your character. She's torn. What does she do? Does she have her life or does she give it for her ch child? For her child. Can you talk a little bit about that? I can. It's interesting when you say about having a career, if I even just bring it to, to experiences closer to my own and closer to women in my family and women I know. It's important to be a role model to a child and if by performing at a high level at your career and still setting a good example, that's that that in, in informs my child and that's then that's powerful and uh, moreover I think it's this idea of not being defined by anything I'm not defined by my gender but more specifically I'm not defined by my background by anything I'm defined by who I am as a person and that's how I can show up in the world and, and break open stereotypes I wish I had a little band here I'd be snapping back and forth and you yes. see the movie you'll get you'll get the reference but let's draw that to the person who was wearing the band, Mark Wahlberg. Mm -hmm. What type of energy does he bring to his fellow actors on set? Mark is so precise. He's so dedicated and precise, and it really does infect those around him. You know, Mark is a really funny and likable guy who's more than willing to consistently play less likable characters or less un less sympathetic characters, and. Uh, it's his dedication. I mean, he's he's an awesome movie star and also an amazing actor and collaborator. We had a lot of fun doing this film. There were so there's so it's such a tightly woven, smart script, but there's also a lot of improvisation as people will know who already know and like Pete Berg's movies. And uh, you know, none of us are any exception in the film. There was a lot. There was a lot nailed down, and there was a lot of free form, and and I really just felt like a, a group of players. It was it was. A lot of fun. As you can attest, this is a gorgeous woman right here, and you would think that, oh my god, I get to do a major motion picture, I'm going to be primmed and propped, and I'm going to be wardrobed out to the hill. But just like you are in Walking Dead, you are down and dirty. Can you talk a little bit about switching to Walking Dead? I yeah. Mean, that, what do you think has been the endearing quality about this, that it's like nine seasons now? Mm -hmm. That's amazing for a television show. It is amazing. It truly is. We're really lucky to keep especially to keep refreshingly tell a story of people surviving an apocalypse and I think that that you know ultimately comes down to good writing and good characters and we are so lucky to have the connection with our fans that we do and to have been able to bring them on this ride with us we just did our ninth comic-con and the passion is unrelenting it's absolutely equal, greater than it was when the show was in seasons two and three and four and five and six. And that to me speaks to the survivalist spirit that the show represents. And what we all are ultimately looking for is to is for the good to prevail over the evil, the light to prevail over the dark. And what an honor to be a part of a project that showcases that every single episode. Plus the most important thing, it's filmed in my hometown of Atlanta. Oh, no so way. that's what makes it awesome. Yeah. Lauren, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Best of luck with the movie. And this is Scott Orr. Till next time. Thanks.